Well, hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and with me... What's hello. your name? Mark English. Oh yes, Mark English, the lovely Mark English. I thought we were here for Mass. I, oh, I beg your pardon. No. No, we haven't. We, we, we've done maths years ago. We did the maths we years ago, yeah, and I failed it dismally. Yeah, I failed it also, but shh, we're not doing any counting no. other than probably miles. Mm -hmm. We are going for a walk, ladies and gentlemen, and today we, this is one of our walks from Avebury, and we are in Avebury, and which church are we in? We're in St Mary's Church, which is just outside the Stone Circle in the main high street of the village. Just outside, right, sort of up against the wall. Yeah, almost, it's almost it? touching sort of the, the outer circle. And it's, it's a beautiful looking church with a big tower, very mm -hmm. similar to the one at Oberton in a yes. way. But, and, and also quite palatial on the inside, beautifully decorated. Um, they've got candles, they've got um, a beautiful and very ornate rood screen mm -hmm. um, and pulpit and you know, font light, everything. I think the font is very old, it does look quite, quite old actually. It's very beautiful in here. But we, this isn't really our starting point. So where are we going today, Mark? Uh, we're going to have a nice uh, leisurely stroll on the sort of outer countryside up to Windmill Hill, ah. which is one of the earliest uh, permanent settlements uh, in England. Wow. Where, we've, where man's stopped being hunter-gatherers and actually took a place and said, right, we're stopping here. Goodness. And it's called Windmill Hill, yes. but we don't really know whether there was a windmill or not. No, it's just all the name that... All these William... names around... Yeah, William Stukeley named all these places around right. Avery back in the... Um, 18th century. So he's not around really to ask. To ask him. No. no unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, even back in the 1800s, Avebury was called Avery. Avery. Yeah. I think it was a slightly a silent V. It was um. A V B U R Y. Um, I might be slightly wrong on that, but it's a different spelling as we evolve. Avebury might be taught in 200 years' time, might be called something else, you know. And the great thing about Avebury and this whole area, it's fantastic walking country. Oh, there's so many trails you can go, each uh, three to five, six miles long. National Trust trails, you know, people with their own personal trails. You just go online, there's, there's plenty of them to And beautifully from. signposted. Yes, very well signposted, very well signposted, which hopefully would be great in case we get lost later. <laughs> yeah, we did take a picture of the sign yeah. with the trail that we're following, just in case. It looks pretty straightforward. We're going to go up towards uh, Winterbourne Moncton uh, to the stones there, and then we bear a left, which takes straight down to Wimble Hill, and then we're going to come back via Avebury Truslow, which is a little estate outside the village. Sounds great. Shall we go? I think so. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, wait. Um, which way do we go, Mark? Mm -hmm. Look at the photo we took of the map. Yep, we're going right that way to Avebury Truslow. We're not going that way in the Long Stones. We're going to be going this way, right. It's a straight road up to Winterbourne Moncton and then left onto Wimble Hill. Well, let's go. Right, okay. Aren't you coming? Oh, wait a minute, look. Cattle grazing. Dogs are not advised. You're um, you're a bit worried about uh, cows. I'm, I'm aren't not you? a big lover of, as a walker. I'm not a big lover of cows after a few very near incidences recently. So, but, but they are look, they they are quite some way, and I think they're sitting down, not really doing much. Yeah, I think they're quite, and it's only over there. Yeah. Too, so. Shall we risk it? Shall we risk it? I think so. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, nearly there. Nearly there? Well, well another mile. To, uh, another mile. Yeah. Any idea where we're going? Yeah, up on the horizon. Oh, right up there. Yeah, that's the three round barrows at Windmill Hill. Oh, okay. The weather has changed yes, today, hasn't it? Yeah, it has got a little bit. It's a bit grayer grubby. and a bit more cold. I'm going to stick the jumper on if that's all right. Uh, yeah, go for it. I've kept Because you've on already this. done yeah. that. It's so, a bit hot. We'll just strip off again. Yes, it's, um, I don't think it's going to rain though, luckily. No. So that's okay. So cross a few fields and cross then up fields the hill. And then, yeah, up there. It's not, a very, it's not a very high climb. No. Great. Well, I'm ready. Let's uh, mosey on up. I know. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, well, that, was, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, it wasn't. You, I, I faced my fear. You had cows chase you before. Yeah, 25 of them. That's not last year. Yeah, that's, and at high stampede as well. Yeah, and what do you do? You can't, no. you know, just tap them on the nose no. or tell them to go away. That's what people say. Well, tap them on the nose. How do I tap 25 cows? Yeah, charging at me. I'm not keen on them. And to be honest, if you weren't here, I probably would have found a route round. Yes. But I felt with two of us, mm -hmm. and they're quite docile. We thought it'd be good for you for the viewers as well. Don't you see and to be honest, it's yeah. all about the viewers. Yeah, we've right. done that for you. Yeah. This is going to go there and be yeah. sick. Now. Come on in. <laughs> well. <sighs> well, we're at the top of Windmill Hill. Sorry about some of the wind on the audio. It's been quite windy. Yeah. Apologies for that. Um, but we're here now. This is Windmill Hill and we're in the lee of the wind by this very lovely bell barrow. Bell barrow, yes. Complete with um, the trench that goes around. It's, it's almost like a, a, a mini earthwork. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Quite serene out of the wind, definitely. But you get this amazing 360 view. Extraordinary, isn't it? And on a much sunnier day, of course, it would be fantastic. But it's no less because the walk has been enjoyable, mm -hmm. company has been enjoyable. And uh, coming up here, the importance of this site. Just remind me, the first... It's one of the very first um, settlements in the... In in the ancient, ancient, yeah. ancient England, um, where people actually started being hunter-gatherers and actually made a settlement here. Um, there's a few other sites dotted around, but it's one of the most significant and most important sites. Yeah. And interesting in sort of the shadow of Avebury, which obviously came yes, much later. Yes, of course. Yes, and, and you know, the co probably not a coincidence. No, maybe. absolutely. The people living here, you know, could have been starting on that. So yes, yeah. this was like, a, you know, it's like the capital really of uh, ancient Britain. And no doubt up here, clear of trees, Yes. And yeah. then down in those valleys mm -hmm. all around back then, well before, well, these are the Neolithics, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and they did, as you pointed out, they did much of the tree clearing. They did, yeah. Got rid of all the trees. So yeah. they wouldn't want to live in the, in the slightly swampy, no. dark, very dark uh, trees down there. So get out up here. And also you could see if any enemy tries. Of course, that's why it's good to be high up. High you know? up. Yeah, so brilliant walk. Really enjoyed it. Would miss out the cows in future but <laughs> yeah. definitely worth coming yeah. and um, you know bring a picnic flask of coffee yeah did you bring a flask of coffee I didn't we did uh, ah. I've got some water a oh, water there we go next best thing yeah. so thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it it's been great fun and um, I think this is our last one from Avebury proper mm -hmm. we may well stop on the way home somewhere else won't tell you what that is because it would be a surprise different theme on mm, that different one. theme yes. um, but uh, yeah, we have thoroughly enjoyed it and mostly the weather's been on our side. Yeah, yesterday was glorious. So, uh, thank you very much. Till the next time, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and um, have a happy life. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why yeah. not? Live the adventure. Yeah. <laughs>